Hey guys, Taylor here from TC Freeride. Welcome back to the channel. We're here today in Lake Havasu and I want to show you the Armstrong line. But I want to share with you the three years of time that it took me to figure out the equipment in this short video. So we're going to start off and I'm just going to explain to you the basics of the equipment and explain each piece so you can kind of understand what I'm talking about. Obviously we have a board. We have different size boards. This here is a 410. This is great for a big guy, a lot of flotation, a lot of volume. It's going to be easy to get up on and very stable. This isn't going to be good for a small person. Like Koi, he's 85 pounds. This is too much volume. This is good for a 180 to 260 pound guy, okay? Now, maybe you're 170 pounds like myself or you're a 100 pound rider, the four foot board is gonna be better and, and easier for you. Okay, so that's the basics with the board. There's three different sizes, four foot, four or five, and 410. Now, the next main part is the mast. I've been riding the 72 centimeter and it's, it's kind of a versatile, easy to use, good for everything mast. Some guys like the longer one in the ocean. They like to use the 85. You come up higher out of the water. It is a little more forgiving. Uh, when you're learning, you're kind of riding more aggressive. It's not gonna breach as easy. Okay, so this is your mast, this piece here. Now on the board, you have a mast track. And these new boards are very, very adjustable. There's a lot of track here, so you can move this mast forward and back. The more you go forward with the mast, the more lift you have. The further back, the less lift. The less lift when you're learning is what you want. Now, number two, aside from where the mast setup is, is where your foot is. I'm running foot straps now because I like to be locked in and I know where my feet need to be. But in the beginning, I didn't know this. So I was putting my foot over the mast or behind the mast and it was just like a buck and bronco. I couldn't figure it out. So now I figured out for the, the first time guy, put your foot in front of the mast. Yeah. So you just take a visual where your mast is, okay? So if you were here, you would be centered over the mast. I had Koi go way up here. Boom, the board's stable. Much more user-friendly. So mast all the way back, your first go. Feet, your back foot in front of the mast, okay? That's kind of the basics. Where the mast is, all the way back to start. Foot in front of the mast. As you progress, you'll want more lift. You loosen up the mast and go forward. Okay, the next part we're going to talk about is the fuselage. This is the fuselage, or the fuse we call it. There's three different sizes. There's a 50, a 60, and a 70. Well, the, the short 50 is super nimble and quick and reactive. 60 is kind of in the middle. That's what this one is. And a 70 is the long one. This is a 50, this is a 70, so you can kind of see the differences in lengths. This is gonna be much more stable and uh, more control, good for learning, long fuse. I've been riding at 60 for a long time, like a year, and it's, it's pretty good kind of all around. Recently, I started riding the 50 and it's quick. Everything just like lights up and snaps and it's super fun. So with time, you might want a shorter fuse. But in the beginning, the long one's the most stable. Okay, now we're gonna talk about the front foil, okay? The wing, the front foil, uh, people call it different things. So this is a very important piece to the puzzle. Now, this piece is something that you want a certain one to learn on, and then there's a certain one to ride on the first wave. There's a certain one to ride when you wanna glide and go two, three, four, five waves back. There's a certain one you use when you kite foil, you wing foil, uh, if you're gonna go prone paddle in the surf. There's a different one, and there's a different one for each size rider, and also just the style of riding that you wanna do. So this one we're looking at here has no lift, okay? This is what they used to use on an air chair, they still do. Uh, this is a Mike Murphy 900. This is the very first timer, best wing right here, okay? A lot of times you see a guy get up 
and he's used to either surfing or wakeboard and it's all on our feet. This is waist up, okay? So what happens with the guy that's used to pushing on his feet is they get up and they just, they fly off. So this eliminates that. It has no lift, so you get up nice and smooth and you get the feel of being on foil. I found that I need the rope to keep going with this, this wing because there is no lift. But the Mike Murphy 900 is the easiest front wing to start with. Just to give you the idea of what it's like. You will graduate soon onto you know, a foil with lift in it. This is the high speed version. This is the CF carving freeride version. And this is a high aspect over here. This carving freeride version is the latest and greatest, the most stable. They're just super fun all around. And there's multiple sizes. They have a 950, a, a 1200, a 1600, and a 2050. So far I found that the 1200 is my favorite for carving the first wave, uh, doing airs, um, and then you graduate and go bigger when you want to do something different. So the high speed series I found is super fun for gliding and pumping. Uh, I feel like it pumps a little bit better than the carving freeride and I really like the 1550. It's fast, it's got a lot of lift and I can leave the boat and go back two, three, four, five waves and it's just playful. It's, it's almost a different sport pumping versus riding the first wave. Now you have the high aspect. The high aspect is this thin little blade, okay? It looks like a knife. So it's, it's super thin, and this is for the more advanced rider. This thing pumps super quick, but it has a, a high speed dropout. When I say that, I mean you have to have speed or this thing drops, because there's not a lot of, of volume. You know, there's not a lot of surface area to, to float you and, and keep you going. So the last piece to the puzzle is your stabilizer, or your back wing. So this here is a 232. This is what Koi is riding right now. It's, it's super stable. Uh, it's also adjustable. You can cut it to your liking. This is my favorite right here. This is called the HA195. This one is the fastest and the most fun for me. This is a V200. This is a lot of people like this wing. I would say it's a little more stable than the HA195 but not as fast, and so far I love this one. There's a new 300 out that's super stable. It's rad for your first time foiler. Uh, it would be good paired with the MM900, and after the MM900, quickly move to a CF1200 or a 1600, depending on your size. All right guys, well it's time to go out and hit the water, and I'm gonna show you what each wing can do and I hope that this isn't too overwhelming with all this equipment, but this is a very unique, special thing about Armstrong that there is so many options. You can tailor the setup to your liking, or one day you wanna go wing foil, you wanna go kite foil, you wanna go prone paddle, or you wanna go in the, in the lake behind the boat. It's cool because you can set it up perfect for your setup. Going to be doing more videos on product reviews and testing and trying out new foils all the time so tune in like and subscribe to the channel thank you guys